How's that for an opening? Wind Chaser is a master mark. <laughs> welcome to another episode. I have just cracked up, Andrew. And welcome to another episode <laughs> of Chasing the Wind. Let's see, four songs, two recordings with Andrew. I'm a little loopy right now. Anyway, that was supposed to be like a, a windy, windy uh, uh, spring day, you know, like Fly, go fly a kite today. How about that? You know, there's Pastor Mark telling you, go fly a kite. Oh, Pastor, that is a good segue to what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about niceness and kindness. Andrew and I brought, kind of came up in a, one of our countercultures we were talking about the other day. And I want to talk to you about today, Ephesians chapter um, 4. Verse uh, 32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Uh, I heard about a church one time that had a bicota class. How about that? A bicota class. Be ye kind one to another. I wonder if they live that out in their life. Okay, so let's talk about niceness and kindness. It's very interesting if I were to gone up ahead of this and um, uh, looked at some of this in verse 25, Paul says, uh, and if he, therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor. Later, Paul would say that we are to speak the truth in love. Hmm. So um, here's one of the things we're supposed to, nice is, is, is nice. You know, I mean, it's nice when people are nice. Um, but sometimes we like to nice each other to death in the church, don't we? Sometimes we like to nice each other to death in the church. And that does not help anything. It usually doesn't help anything. Does this, uh, does this shirt I'm wearing make me look fatter than what I am? Now you are going to put in the comments down there, no, Pastor Mark, you look so nice even though you might be lying through your teeth. That's why I don't wear horizontal stripes. I don't need any help with uh, things. Okay, I need to wear vertical stripes. So supposedly it makes you look thinner. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. You know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm using that as an example. How many times? Now, there's times you, you've been around people who are brutally honest and that's always fun, you know, when you have someone who's brutally honest. You really going to wear that? You know, my wife and I, I was, I was, my wife and I were uh, somewhere shopping one time and she was looking at purses and, and she grabbed this purse and she goes, how does this one look? I said, it doesn't look that bad. Now, 30 some, almost 32 years of marriage, I've learned that is not the right answer. By the way, if you're a young person, young husband, young guy look, listening to me right now, do not say that when they ask you. I knew what I meant. I, I thought, well, it's, it's okay. You know, it's okay. I've seen you carry better purses, but you know, but do not say it doesn't look that bad. So we laugh about it now. We laugh about it now, but she quickly hung that back up on there. It was really, it was really funny. And then it got worse because then this other lady walked by and she asked me about another one. I said, how's that look to you, lady? Does it look okay? She goes, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm like, yeah, I didn't think it looked bad. You know, that did not help matters any because then, you know, she had an ally and that just helped. It didn't help any. Um, there's times we need to be nice. There's no doubt about that. And then there's, there's times we need to be kind. We're told to be kind. Um, and, and one of the ways that we are kind is to speak the truth in love. I have maintained that my true friends are the ones, they're the, the kindest ones, are the ones who tell me the truth and don't sugarcoat things. When I'm acting like an idiot, when when my thoughts are, are totally irrational, and, and I get there, um, a friend of mine just the other day told me, he goes, Mark, he goes, I think you're, you, you've got stress. I was having a kind of a little episode. And he goes, Mark, you, I know this, what we were, we're working on a project. He goes, I know this stuff causes you deep stress. And we paused and he prayed with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, got me to a place where I could say, okay, wait a minute. This, you know, this isn't the end of the world. We can fix what was broken here. And, uh, you know, I'm not very mechanical all the time. Let's just put it that way. I'll let you 
let your mind run with that one a little bit. Uh, I appreciate my friend just saying, Mark, just you're, you're getting upset over this. Well, we're going to figure this out. It isn't broken for good. You know, we can, he's much more mechanical than I am. And we fixed it. It was great. It was a beautiful thing. It wasn't nearly as, you know, I'd only had two cups of coffee. I was, you know, probably that was where my problem was, you know. Um, not that I'm addicted, but I do have to have it. Um, he could, you know, now there, there, we, we need people who in our lives, we're told to be kind one to another. It wasn't that this class was wrong for calling themselves the Bicota class. It was kind of creative using the King James Version. Be ye kind one to another. It does make me wonder, though, if I could have gone to that uh, situation and asked them, are you guys really kind to one another? Are you just nice to each other? Are you kind to one another or are you just nice? <clears throat> um, I, I'm I'm glad I have people who are nice to me. Okay, um, here is the ones that you know does it. You know, does that? Is that a good color on you? Oh yeah, it's great. Oh that was nice. You know you have that nice, nice. You know now or or kind. Well, it's not the best color for you. It's not the best. I was giving Andrew a little hard time today. He said, well, at least one of us is, is dressed for spring. He's in mourning, he said. I don't know who died. I think he hasn't decided yet. <clears throat> and I'm the only one down here, so it could really get, you know, with him. So it could get, you know, if I don't have any more chasing the winds and this is the last one, you'll know why. Go find Andy. Kindness. Okay. There, there's, there's a thing on Instagram, these videos that go out there. It's called the egg egg cracking challenge or something like that and these parents will be baking something and they take an egg and they crack it on their kid's head and the reactions are just are, are, are uh, uh, interesting watching little kids like what you know and then the one kid he just busts out laughing of course sometimes it brings out some negative reactions but the one the one it's a, a daughter and her and her mother and they crack the egg on the on on the the daughter the little girl and you know Little girl goes, hey, that wasn't very nice. And she takes an exit. She cracks it on her mom's head and her grandma's head. And they're just cracking it. And I just die laughing. It's just funny. Little girl, it wasn't very nice. Little kids know what's nice and what's not nice. Although they are some of the meanest people in the world. When you watch them together and you say, Pastor, that's not very nice. I know, but it's right. It's kind. It's the truth. They're not always real nice to each other. It's funny, I always said that we always, you know, we, we say in the, in the church, we said, now that wasn't nice, you go over and apologize. We tell kids to do that all the time. But we as adults get nasty with each other in church, don't we? And we don't ever apologize. Wouldn't it be interesting if the kids said to us one time, you need to go apologize to pastor for what you said to him about how bad his sermon was. Okay? I might have just brought some of you under conviction. Go to your pastor and tell him, I didn't, I didn't mean that, pastor. Well, I'm just trying to be kind, Mark, and telling him that his sermon could have been better well yeah well okay you keep telling yourself that kindness says nice says well don't make that child who's playing out in the middle of a busy street uh, during rush hour four o'clock five o'clock in the afternoon nice says no no don't correct them don't we don't want to hinder their little minds but the kindest thing to do is say grab them by the arm pull them back off the street and said you are not playing in the road you're not playing in the road. Well, I want to. You're not very nice. No, I'm not, but I'm kind because I love you enough not to let you do that. We've talked about this before, but it seemed good to me that we talk about it again. We forget, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be nice at church or anywhere else for that matter. Be nice. Be cordial. Open the door for someone. Say hi. It's very, you know, you, I, was at, I was at a grocery store yesterday and this lady kept like getting in my way and, you know, she, I was trying to sneak between her, her cart and for you in the South, that's called a buggy. And she was about to back up and run into my cart and I zipped through and, and she caught, you know, realized she was, I keep, you know, getting in your way. And I said, well, I didn't want you to, to run, you know, run, uh, run into my cart. And, and so I, you know, moved ahead quick. That was nice. That was nice. It was also kind. I could have just said, well, let's, this could be good for YouTube and put on there to watch this lady crash into my buggy. But, but I didn't. Um, we nice each other to death too much. We don't speak the truth in love. And a lot of people say, well, I'm just speaking the truth. No, you're being mean because you're not doing it in love. You're doing it to be right. You know, there, I, I know I've talked to you about this before, but maybe we need to hear it again. Now that spring, you know, a little spring cleaning, a little spring cleaning of our attitudes uh, need to happen. 
So I'm going to just leave it right there. Maybe someone today just need to be reminded to be kind. And, uh, you know, and, and yes, yeah, some of you need to be nice, too, because you're just mean and you're not kind nor nice. OK, we need to look at that. We need to look. I have days. I understand we have days sometimes that that cause us that maybe we do that. But we need to go back and say, you know, I was I just was tired. I wasn't in a good place. My wife reminds me of Halt. Um, hungry, angry. Um, um, <clears throat> Halt, L-A, what's the L stand for? Again, I can't remember. Anyway, T is tired. Anyway, um, when we get into those things and uh, that there's things that trigger us sometimes, but you know what we need to admit when we've been that way and go and say, I really apologize. I didn't, I just been tired, whatever. I haven't slept. I got a lot of things on my mind. She'll, she'll comment on here what the L is. Honey, when you see this, put on there, you comment in there and say what the L is because I can't remember it right now. But anyway. I'm going to leave it right there, wind chasers. Keep chasing the wind because the wind is chasing you. Be nice and be kind. Whichever calls for in any given moment. Grace and peace. I'm Pastor Mark.